So it's April 5th and we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee, Zone 6B. About four weeks ago we decided to expand our potato growing uh, beds and we added this bed with the co-op called them blue potatoes, we call them purple potatoes. So why don't we take a look at where we're staying, coming up next. So to reiterate, the beds behind me were planted out last season, the Back to Eden Way. Uh, we put some black plastic down to kill the existing grass, took it up. We laid the potatoes one foot on center, three rows per mound. And uh, they were Yukon Gold potatoes we got at the co-op. We planted them very late in the season. Um, it was actually in May, I believe. And we put those potatoes down, covered them with chips, and walked away, and they grew. They grew just fine. Um, we have a video you can go back uh, and take a look at that original planting. And then uh, around March, beginning of March, we decided, hey, why don't we uh, expand the garden? We found that the potatoes were a deterrent to the Mexican bean beetles. So we had planted Blue Lake bush beans on either side of every mound that is behind me. And definitely the bean beetles were subdued compared to another place on the property that we planted the beans. So we figured we'll plant another bed, let's change it up, we'll plant some purple potatoes, we got them at the co-op, and then we'll plant blue lake bush beans on here too, or maybe even white half runners. And as you can see, we planted on, on uh, March 10th, and we have 17 places already. They've already started to pop through the top of the chips and sprouted. So what we've done, and at the end of this video, we'll put a link uh, to the previous video where we were establishing this bed, we put down some, some chips, we put down some goat manure bedding, and we put down some chips over the top of that. That's all we've done. We've walked away then. It's been a very rainy season this spring, winter and spring. So the, the watering was by us was not necessary, and it definitely helped. You can see the close-up of these, of these sprouts. They're beautiful. They're sturdy. I am pretty much convinced it's the easiest way to plant potatoes. Last season when we were harvesting the beds behind us, we just put the biggest potato right back in the bed and they're sprouting in different places on that bed. We've got many more sprouts on this new bed than we do on the older bed, but the chips are much thicker back there than they were. So why don't you give it a try, the Back to Eden way, it's as simple as can be. Put those potatoes on the ground, cover them with chips and walk away and come back and harvest can't be any easier than that don't you think stay tuned this is the year of the giveaways purple cone flower is the plant for april echinacea it's got some awesome power for healing for for warding away sickness it's an awesome beneficial attractor that video will be coming out soon make sure you make it over to that video and, and mention on there, I want some Echinacea too. And at the end of the month, we're going to use a random comment picker and pick 10 winners out. So long. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe and come grow with us.